Hello and welcome to Cannes 2015, to the delightful Microsoft beach venue, which is an absolutely stunning location. Hopefully you can hear the waves lapping up against the beach just below us. Um, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined by Microsoft Global Advertising and Media Head Kathleen Hall, who um, is a Microsoft, a Microsoft veteran, a Cannes veteran Yes. Um, yes. of several years. Um, I'm always interested to ask uh, people that have been coming to the event for a number of years. Um, how do you feel that the event is changing, or is it changing? It's definitely changed. Um, I think that, you know, through the years, it used to be kind of a casual gathering, mm -hmm. and it was really about a celebration of creativity. Yeah. And I think it's more and more become kind of a business event. You know, there's some more scheduled meetings, yep. a lot more media entities here, um, yep. a lot more sort of client relationship meetings. Yep. Um, so I miss a little bit of that sort of casual funness. <laughs> But I think it's really productive. I yeah. mean, when you're here and everybody you kind of want to talk to is here at the same time, yeah. you get an awful lot done. So, yeah. good and bad. Hopefully a few rosés thrown yeah, in. I think, I think, yeah, maybe course. like after 10 o'clock at night, there may be some fun. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a yacht, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> and, um, and changing times for Microsoft as well. Yeah. Uh, new leadership recently and um, a new message perhaps that you're trying to convey to the industry at the moment? Yeah, I think there's been a lot of change at Microsoft. I think, you know, the, the, the sort of new management, new culture, mm -hmm new products, kind of all converging um, at, a, at a really good time for us. I think yeah. this kind of more human, approachable, empowering Microsoft has yeah. made its debut and people are really responding well to it. Yeah. yeah. How important is an event like this in terms of conveying that message, in terms of um, you know, getting partners to, to understand where you're trying to go? I, really important. I think, ha like, like we're saying, we're at a beach, we're casual, yeah. Yeah. we're having meals and, and yeah. you know, a cocktail together. I think that is representative of kind of who we are now. We're not mm -hmm. this serious, stodgy, mm -hmm. you know, big blue corporate entity. We're yeah. your partner. Like, and, and we can partner. The interesting thing, especially in the media conversations, is there's multiple levels of partnership. Like we're buyers, we're sellers, yeah. we're a technology partner and platform that a lot of our media partners can benefit from. So there's a yeah. lot of levels of conversation. It's yeah. never really one thing anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and obviously one of the other great things about an event like this just brings together the whole industry globally from, from clients to agencies, technology companies, media owners and, and the relationship between those companies is, is changing and, and you know we're seeing a lot of, of reviews of media accounts at the moment and you know companies looking at how they operate in this space and, and do you feel that there is the sands are shifting around us a little bit? Yeah it is, it's, it, they are constantly and I think there's this intersection of sort of innovation and um, you know thirst for a competitive edge yeah. right and so I think clients are constantly looking for is there a better way is there mm -hmm. a partner that fits a little bit more um, so it's sort of a constant quest and I think you know as an ex-media check myself I think it's challenging because you know next new isn't always the best thing mm. and like any relationship you know the the, the spouse the girlfriend might look good <laughs> but then you realize oh she doesn't really know that I like to wear sweats and like the older relationship sometimes is a healthy one you yeah. know so it's a, it's a tough challenge for the industry I was looking for newer faster better but yet um, you know partnership and relationship is so much of what we do and that takes time mm. to establish yeah so it's, it's it's that balancing the need to obviously nurture those relationships that have been around for a long period of time while also making sure that you are bringing yep, innovation. Yeah, cutting edge, yeah, yep, yep, latest and greatest, it's, it's challenging. Yeah, and, and for an event like this, I mean, presumably you will see lots of people you know, lots of old faces, yep, tons lots of, of new faces though as well, and, and how much do you find coming to events like this that you are trying to see what is new, what is the latest cutting edge in terms of innovation? I, you always want to learn something at an mm -hmm. event like this. I think you want to be surprised by something. So yeah. really checking out some of the newer entities and partners here is a good thing. Yeah. Um, but then it is a balance because, as I said, it's, it is a relationship building business. So when you see people you've known, like we just came out in the elevator with someone I've known for 25 years, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's all good to see you. Hey, come to this later. Okay. Yeah. So you make that connection and it's yeah. a good thing to continue to nurture that relationship because, you know, this industry is kind of a fishbowl. Eventually you kind of yeah. know most people move around but they're yeah, kind of always there so you, you kind of want to maintain those relationships so yeah yeah it's good on both fronts I think learn new stuff and keep contacts with the people you've known for a long time and hmm. re-establish those sometimes yeah yeah and um, away from the delights of can um, what, what are the big priorities then for Microsoft this year I mean what, what what's kind of high on your hit list well big priorities is the launch of Windows 10 yeah, we're coming out with our latest yep. and greatest operating system, which is a real sea change for us. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, the marketing approach I think you'll find interesting, still yep. somewhat undercover, but oh. um, <laughs> you know, I think you'll see an extension of our sort of kinder, gentler, more authentic human approach. Yeah. Um, it's a global launch, so you know we have to always take that into consideration as we concept and execute. Um, 
and that is a big deal. And then in terms of innovation, you know, HoloLens is super hot. Mm -hmm. You know, the hottest ticket in cans mm -hmm. right now. People are lining up downstairs to come yeah. see the demo. And I think what that does in terms of, um, you know, defining change for mm -hmm. Microsoft and, and really future technology and experiences is, is a big deal. Yeah. So I think those are kind of the, the big hot things. And then culturally, I think, you know, continuing to see Satya kind of set his vision for the company and see the culture embrace it is really inspiring. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. he's quite a quite an inspiring leader. No. So, yeah. Sure. I, and um, I sincerely hope in in you know fast forward to twelve months we'll hopefully be back here, this very same place, looking out over the yachts yes, and, and the weather and the amazing, will be just as good. And the and weather will be yeah. beautiful. And uh, what do you hope will would be our conversation in, in twelve months' time? Partly, I suppose, from from a Microsoft perspective in terms of the way that the brand is perceived, but also, I guess, in terms of the way that we're discussing the industry. What 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 you know? What would you hope for over the coming twelve months? Hmm, well, I, I think as far as the brand is discussed, is I'd like to see the continued evolution of Microsoft as yeah. this kind of sort of human approachable innovative company yep. and that would continue and then I, I knock on wood Windows 10 is a successful <laughs> launch as I expect it to be and is really embraced by the technology community um, I think as an industry I, I you know change is is a fundamental part of what marketing is all about right managing yep. change anticipating change I would like us to um, regroup a little bit in terms of um, being a relationship based business mm -hmm. like not being so determined to constantly be on the cutting edge with everything and yeah. really looking at the balance of of new and established and and the importance of relationship. I, I, maybe I'm getting old. Like I feel like the human part of our business <laughs> needs to remain integral. Yeah. And I'd like to see that kind of happen over time. And particularly younger people in the business, not to just, you know, sit in a room and analyze data mm -hmm. to make decisions. Talk to people. Mm -hmm. Like data is a big part of what we do, but it's not everything. There's intuition and there's judgment and creativity involved that, you know, analysis alone is not going to get you an answer. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, continuing to develop people's interpersonal relationships mm. as part of this business and the ability to listen to each other and share ideas and co-develop ideas is really important. Yeah. And, and that seems a real common theme, actually, the talent is, is oh, really... Unique in that. No, 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 no. <laughs> from a very unique angle, but yeah. <laughs> but nevertheless, talent seems to be a unifying message at the moment. That that is a really important thing for the industry to address. Yeah, and one of, and as you talk about talent, one of the big things is we've got to diversify. Yep. You know, we need more ethnicities involved in advertising. We need more women involved mm -hmm. at the highest levels. And I think that you know, perspective is really important as you market to an increasingly diverse market. Yeah. And the industry has been slow. And I, I'm really a big advocate of trying to change that quickly. Yeah, and uh, I, so is that something that's you know the high on your agenda internally or externally? Yes, internally and externally. You know, in my roles on you know boards and things yeah. that I participate in, externally panels, etc. It's a big issue. But also at Microsoft, I'm, I'm head of the diversity committee at Microsoft, co-chair of the diversity committee yeah. at Microsoft. So we're really sensitive to, it, particularly given that we're a technology company. You combine mm -hmm. the double whammy of you know the advertising industry has a challenge, the technology business has a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, Fortunately, marketing in general in the technology area doesn't as much, and particularly as it relates to women. Yeah. But you know, diversity is really important. Mm -hmm. Well, fantastic. So. Thank you very much for for joining us to speak Thank to us. Thank you. And we've absolutely loved enjoying your beach event, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll we'll see much more. Yeah. Of it. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much.